What's the worst thing you've accidentally overheard? Twas over a decade ago. But in high school during baseball practice, heard something from one of the seniors roughly along the lines of yeah man the jar in my car that I keep all my cum is is already half full. I was home alone as a 12 year old and my dad's friend called the house, I let it go to voicemail and he left a bizarre voicemail about my dad being the best friend he'd ever had. My dad came home 10 minutes later and I told him about the voicemail. Dad tried to call him and he didn't pick up. It turned out he shot himself immediately. After leaving the voicemail, which was a pretty big mental time bomb for me, I heard half of a phone conversation, a man said, into his phone. I ain't doing this shit, there wasn't supposed to be no security guard here, overheard by me. The security guard, in a bank that had recently been robbed, heard a co-worker plot with her husband. To falsely accuse her acts of child abuse, she wanted full custody. She ended up with one supervised visit per month, I wonder who spilled the beans. Standing in line waiting for my Tim Hortons coffee, the girl in front of me was talking with her friend. Yeah, so I caught HIV from this dude. It's okay though. It's not like I'm going to die right away. I want some of her positivity. Waiting to Skype call my long distance girlfriend. And before the video comes on the audio peaks up. Heard her roommate yell to her you gonna dump that sorry little boy now. Yeah she immediately turned off the fee and broke up with me over Skype text instead. Nice. It was when I was a kid and it was just my single mom. And I living in a house together. She had late stage ovarian cancer that was getting worse. One afternoon she told me she was tired and needed to go lay down in her room. Totally common with her condition so nothing struck me as odd. I went to her room with a glass of water to put by her bed. For when she woke up, but right as about to turn the knob to get into her room. I was thrown off guard when I heard her voice. And it sounded like she was incredibly emotional and sad. There was no phone in her room and I knew nobody was over at our house visiting. It took me a minute of eavesdropping to realize that. She was using a tape recorder to record her last goodbyes to me for after she died. She died two weeks later. I found the tape. This was years ago and I still haven't been able to get myself to listen to it. The memory of being there while she was recording it, and the memory of my naive adolescent self finally realizing that my mom was about to die is just too overwhelming for me still, but I'm glad to know that one day, when I'm ready, I will have a recording of her voice to listen to. My family and I were at a restaurant and there was a father, and his daughter will call D, for daughter sitting in the booth right across the aisle from us. She looked to be no more than 20 years old. She talks the whole time about her ex, Chris. Apparently, Chris was married and he did not give to shits. She said it was the wife's fault for not being good enough to keep her husband faithful. Welp. Chris was still sleeping with his wife. Because she got pregnant. When he found out wife was pregnant, he told Chris he had to choose between her and his wife. At first, Chris chose D. Then he found out his unborn child had congenital heart defects. So, he called off the divorce. Broke up with D, and moved back in with his wife. D sits there in silence looking slightly bewildered before saying, I don't know why he chose her and the retard baby, so what if it dies? They can always make another one. But that's not the worst part. Her dad breaks his silence and asks, So, your mom and Chris aren't getting divorced. Your mom and Chris. Your mom. This batshit crazy bitch was having a blatant affair with her much older stepfather. Made him choose between her and her pregnant mother. And then made sociopathic comments about her unborn brother. Brought this up in another thread like a month ago. On my first day of college while waiting online at the bookstore I know. I know you should never buy books at the college lol to girls were. Behind me on the line talking about a cute guy in front of them on the line. I naturally took this to think it was me and it raised my ego quite a bit. Until one of them tapped me on the shoulder and asking me to get the attention of the guy just ahead of me online. Was bartending on our busiest day. People were waiting everywhere even outside. Family is a little loud and rowdy. A kid about eight can't be still. Him and a guy seems to be about late twenties. Are wrestling and acting up. Kid is yelling no and and screaming. 
people are kind of used to them. At this point, suddenly, the guy starts yelling I am gonna grab your penis, and says it a few times. Kid is yelling no. The entire restaurant got dead silent, and everyone was jaw dropped. Staring finally, after a bit too long. The mother is like WTF can say that or act like that and they all go outside. So guy at work was on his cell phone. He starts getting louder and louder. Eventually he's basically yelling into his phone. He was on the phone with his wife verbally abusing her. And yelling about how bad he was going to beat her when he got home. Security was called. He was fired and the police were contacted about the potential abuse. One time. I was in a stall at a gas station bathroom. This guy charges in and says something along the lines of, I can't wait to come over. I'm pretending this urinal is your face. Once I was waiting for the elevator in my building, and a guy came out of his apartment and screamed into his phone the following quote, Ahem. I could suck your dick and I still wouldn't be gay. We both looked at each other in shock as he receded into his home. On a flight got once I listened for two hours. To the old men behind me talk about their recent sexual exploits in Thailand, it was disgusting. Once on a train ride home, I overheard a young woman's phone conversation about becoming a prostitute and trying to find a pimp in graphic detail, including accepting that she would occasionally get the shastrous tea beat out of her. It was horrific AF. We had this class in high school that was out of campus, so a school bus had to take us. The bus would drop us off and stay there parked until the class ended. And the bus driver would drive us. That class was an hour long. Bus driver waited inside the bus with the ignition off. It was finals for that class, but I had finished it a day earlier than everyone. So I decided to stay on the bus and fall asleep. Bus driver proceeds to have the most explicit and dirty conversation with his wife. On the phone, stuff like him gonna tie you up, whip you and fuck you type stuff. Mind you this class was at 8 a.m. How horny do you have to be to have these conversations at 8 a.m. LMAO? He was oblivious that I was on the bus since I was close to the back. He eventually realized later during the drive back that I never got off the bus since he never saw me get back on but I was there somehow. He gave me a stare of pure shame on the rear view mirror. It was hilarious and weird. I was in my garage one night a few years back. When I overheard my teenage neighbor on the phone trying to convince his girlfriend to get an abortion. When I was 12 I overheard my stepdad saying to my mom how much better their life would be without me there and how awful I am and how he wishes I wasn't there. My mom just agreed. I wasn't even a bad kid. Did well in school. Never got in trouble. I could be a stroppy teenager. He was an awful manipulative violent misogynist. And I wish he wasn't here. When I was seven, we had two house phones in different parts of the house. I heard the phone ring one time, and my parents were both holed up in my dad's office and picked up the phone, which I thought was weird. I picked up the other phone to satiate my curiosity only to hear some lady screaming at my mom about how bad my dad was in bed. And she doesn't care about him anyway, just wanted to get ahead at work was a lot to swallow at the time, and an awkward afternoon. A wet fart one aisle over from me, in the drugstore. I was on a cruise and reading a book in one of the lounges. This very upset woman sat sort of behind me, and her husband was with her. She was crying because their vet had some bad news. About their dog, and she was trying to call the vet, she told the husband after she got off the phone that she needed 15 minute to listen to a song by herself and collect her thoughts. He asked if he could get her anything and she said no. She just wanted to be alone for a minute. Once he left, she called her boyfriend and started giving him grief about girls liking his pictures on Instagram and how jealous she was and was making plans to sneak off to call him later. Scumbag. I work in a hospital. I overheard a doctor telling a one-year-old's parents their child just die. I will. Never forget the sounds that came out the mother. Thank you very much for watching. In the comments below the video, post your randomly overheard stories. And don't forget to watch our other videos.